the evolution machine. The whole point behind the evolution machine is to use the WXP31 film. It's the film that makes the deal happen. The evolution machine is a really nice tool. It's very heavy. It's very overpowered. It's more machine than anyone would ever need. There's a one half horsepower motor in the bottom driving the turntable. A lot of redundancy in the electronics. The, the best in, uh, part I like about the machine is that there's nothing uh, in the machine that you can't go to Ace, Lowe's, or Home Depot and buy and fix the machine that day. There's nothing proprietary about the machine. No part, no relay, no chain link. You can fix it the same day. I had five service calls that I would call service calls on the machine in the four years I've been with the company. Four of them involved forklifts. So only one time was there something legitimately wrong with the machine that someone else did not cause to happen to wear and tear. The deal with the XP31 and the pre-stretched machine film is something unique to Western that only we have. It allows someone to wrap a load very, very tightly. Using a lot of minimum amount of film. While the machine is chain driven, it's very, very quiet. It's due to the one horsepower motor and the change tensioners. Three quarter horsepower motor up the stairs. Also makes the film carriage very even and very, very quiet. Very stable. It's a very stable machine. We wrapped this load with two different films. We wrapped it with a 63 gauge, 16 micron. Stretched 200 to 225 percent. When I wrap that 200 to 225 percent with the 16 micron, that's the ball of film that went out the door. So it's not about the price of the roll coming in, it's about the cost of the film going out. The 63, 16 micron put on applied 17 and a quarter ounces to attain 19 pounds per square inch. Whenever you're comparing film to film in a, lo a wrapped load, this is, this is the important factor. Otherwise, someone can just put on one layer of cheap film and say, wow, that was cheap. Or someone could put on six layers of real thick, strong film and say, wow, look how strong that is. But to compare films, you need one constant, the constant being the force of the load. Wrapping it with the pre-stretch, the WXP31 film. Which do you want to ship out? And with this, on the 16 micron, you ship um, 20, you wrap that 23 times. With this, using the WXP31, you ship that about 40 times. But it's significantly tighter. You know, it's about 40% tighter. So if my goal, and this is what I do when I go out, is we ask the customer and we give it a number on what is the force to load that the factor that they want and then we try to hit that with as little plastic as possible. So my whole point to the customer is we want to sell you plastic, we just want to sell you as little as possible. Just as, just only as much as you need. And you can see from those numbers that you need significantly less by using the pre-stretched film.